Welcome to our channel. We're Darius and Ocula Grant of DIY Power Couple. And in this video, we're going to take up our carpet to prepare for our new vinyl flooring. Home improvement. With love. Hey guys, here's a quick look at the room, floor, and closet area before we remove the carpet. Stay till the end to see the benefits of carpet removal. These are some of the tools and equipment we use for this project. I was so excited to get this carpet up and I tried to use a crowbar at first, but it didn't work very well. So you gave me um, that sharp utility knife and I cut the first piece and that's what did it. So I was able to pull it back. I'm really glad that we were wearing those cut resistant gloves because the tacks that were sticking up and the razor from the utility knife could really hurt your fingers if you're not careful. But cutting the carpet from the backside made it a lot easier. Yeah, the carpet was much heavier than I thought, so rolling it up in sections made it much easier to handle. I liked how we worked together to roll up the carpet and put the tape on it so we could have small sections to put in the trash. We both took turns at cutting the carpet. Yeah, we double teamed it. We folded it, we cut it, we rolled it, and then we took it out of here. I noticed when you got into the closet, you made cuts on top of the carpet since it was a smaller area and then you could just pull it out. Yeah, I also made a cut along the doorway to make it easier for us. Guys, I was really tired of this carpet. Finally getting it up meant a lot to me. If you have a friend or family member to help you, it'll only take a couple hours to take your carpet up. The cool thing about cutting and taping your carpet into sections is that it's easy to transport throughout the house without hitting anything. And if it's right into the dumpster. Follow us on Instagram to see behind the scenes of our DIY projects. The last section of carpet was a little wider, but it rolled up nicely. The next step was to remove the old underlayment. This underlayment is a green and yellow foam that's definitely seen better days. It sort of crumbled and was hard to cut with a utility knife, but it was pretty easy to just pull it apart with your hands. The underlayment was pretty lightweight but very dusty, so if you're prone to allergies or sneezing, you may want to wear a face mask during this part of the process. We didn't know what to expect and it looked like it was going to be a lot of work, but all we had to do was pick it up, fold it, and throw it in the trash. For us, we were able to cut this old underlayment with a utility knife when it was in a tight roll. It looked like it was once glued down because pieces of foam and particles were stuck on the concrete subfloor. This wasn't on the tool list, but make sure you have hefty trash bags for this project. Pulling up tack strips from the concrete subfloor required a little muscle and finesse. 
We had to figure out the best way to use the crowbar so it wouldn't hit the wall while hammering. We turned it long ways and tapped from the back. Did you guys know that tack strips are used to create those crisp edges when you lay down carpet? They're also used to secure the carpet in place without staples you can see. Most strips have anchoring nails already attached, but as you can see, concrete floors like this one have short masonry nails. Since this was our first time, we tried our best to limit the amount of concrete that would come up when the nails were removed. We took our time around the corners and inside the closet. It felt good to be at the part where we're cleaning the floor and sweeping up all of the debris. Yeah, this is gonna save us a lot of frustration when it comes to laying down the new flooring. After all that sweeping, there were still pieces of underlayment stuck to the floor. Yeah, so we had to pull out the long handle scraper and the 5-in-1 tool to get up all that glue. While scraping the floor, I picked up loose nails and saw where I'll need to fix the concrete. Our shop vac came in handy to suck up all those nails we didn't see and anything else you scraped off the floor. Check out how we fixed our concrete and laid our underlayment. I'll leave a link in the description below. And here are some benefits of carpet removal. Now we're ready to fix the concrete and lay new underlayment. We'll see you in the next video. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.